Have you ever gotten a gift from someone and it's a piece of clothing and you're like, wow, that is so kind of you, but I'm probably never gonna wear that. And then one day you're sifting through your wardrobe, you see that piece of clothing, you're like, hmm, let me just let me just try it on for a second. And you put it on and you're like, ooh, I actually look pretty good in this. Yeah, that's the exact experience I had with this green jacket. I'm more of a black and white clothes only kind of guy, but this, this feels pretty nice. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about my jacket. I am here to show you five camera movements for cinematic vertical video that you could do anywhere. You could do it for Instagram Reels, you could do it for TikTok, you could do it for YouTube Shorts. Let's go. Quick thing to note, I'm gonna be setting up my camera vertically on my gimbal with an L bracket, but you could definitely do these shots handheld or even with your phone. And also while you're here, don't forget to subscribe because you know I'd love to have you. Let's start with the moves. The first shot, which is actually my personal favorite of the five, is the pass by. And what that is, is that you're closing in on your subject and as they pass by your frame, you pull out for an epic reveal. Now remember, we're shooting vertical video, so you wanna have a wider lens because we're working with that really tight frame. And for epic cinematics, you wanna show the scalability. Wide lens is gonna do that for you. Cheat code for any cinematic shot you wanna shoot from a high location. The second shot is gonna be parallel tracking. And what that is, is you're simply following your subject from the profile. But the key here is you wanna shoot it from a lower angle. The reason for that is because that's gonna make your shot that much more immersive. Even better, do it in a really nice environment. I did it at the beach so you can see that I got this really cool reflection. Pro tip, use your environment to your advantage. Shot number three is going to be moving foreground. And what you're doing there is you're simply putting things in the front of your frame to complement your subject in the back of the frame. What this is gonna do is add a lot more context to your image, it's gonna give a lot more depth. And if you can have that constant foreground just passing in and out of frame, your video is gonna look a lot more engaging. And by the way, if you haven't noticed by now, Putting everything in slow motion makes it that much more cinematic. Shot number four is going to be that orbit reveal. You wanna start close up on your subject and as you circle them, you pull out to reveal that epic shot. Now, you could do it like me at eye level or depending on your location, you could do a lower or higher angle and that's just gonna add that much more to this particular shot. Or maybe you just have a shot that looks good in 360. So just do the full orbit. And the last shot is going to be a rotating pull away. If you have a gimbal that has a 360 roll function, that's just gonna make this shot a lot easier to execute. You wanna start with your subject upside down, and then as you pull away, you rotate it until it's right side up. This shot is pretty awesome, and it's super creative, so don't be afraid to experiment, don't be afraid to try different motions, go crazy. Now you know all five of those shots, but let's just say for some reason, those five shots are not enough for you, and you wanna take it to the next level. Then what I would do is take two or more of those shots and try to combine it, and I promise you, you will come out with some pretty amazing footage. And on top of all of that, I have made a video talking about the basic camera equipment that you wanna consider when you wanna make cinematic vertical video. So I'll leave that for you right over here. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and I will see you next week.